Guys, I'm teacher, and today I'm going to talk about the text I wrote for you. Will all resources on Earth still be in approximately 100 years? The number of human beings in living Earth is actually about 7,300 millions of inhabitants. Nevertheless, including animals and all living beings that also live on the Earth. And all of we know that the resources on Earth are limited. Therefore, humans are bound to take care of these. In contrast with that, with literally killing Earth. But how? The answer is basically the ambition of humans that make us blind. And damage the thing where we came from. About in 2050, Earth will have more than 9,700 of evidence but what about if 2050 never comes starting by the misuse of water until the trees cut off the hole we're making the ozone layer is every day turning bigger because of the use of things with molecules of bromine and chlorine but if you don't know the importance of the ozone layer i will tell you it works as a shield that protects us from sun rays In the other hand, we have the water contamination, ocean, rivers, and those stuff. The quantity of fish that die every day is getting bigger every year. And also the trees cut off that give us oxygen and help us to fight against the heat. It's increasing every year too. And if we want to live until 2050 and those years, and leave a good planet to our descendants, we have to work for that. The former is the global warming. That is the fact that is basically killing us. The smoke that cars produce, the biggest factories, industries, and the way which we extract fossil fuels produces the global warming. There is a fact that most of us don't know. is when we produce smoke, the smoke remains in the sky. And when we receive radiation from the sun, a percent of this radiation rests in those contaminated clouds. In which way produces in Earth this effect called greenhouse effect. Another fact that we must know is the support we give for so many companies we know that are making something back to the planet. In especially the cattle racing. In spite of being a very delicious food, it is also a bad business. Don't you know cars make a 10% of all contamination? More than cars. But why? In the process of alimentation, cow makes so many methane. Methane is a bad gas for the planet. And also, we support what I call the devil palm tree. No as a oil palm. It only grows in a tropical environment. In effect, to plant this to plant this palm, we have to cut out so many tropical forests. Why we good trees to plant something bad? Simply, everything is a business. And all of us didn't know that. On the contrary, we're still buying crackers, lace, and so many things that have been done with this palm. Between 2030 and 2050, if we don't take caution about what we're doing, Earth will be like this. First, the food price will duplicate. Second, fluid might increase. Third, the temperature will increase 4 degrees. Fourth, some of the glacial will disappear. Fifth, the list of animal extinction will increase. Many of the developed countries are using renewable energies that will give to Earth another life. All of we must think about these changes and worry less about religious doctrines, games, and more things created by humanity. Because if the planet does not exist, there is no human. And if there is no human, there will no longer exist these things which we like to dedicate so much time. We have to pray for do not treat Earth as a business anymore and do many campaigns in favor of the Earth. In which I wish there were more people interested in this case because we are on time to make a change in history.
to plant a seed of awareness in every person that thinks life is a game. Thanks.